when and through the force of when they shall be rooted out. So the Most High is saying how the wicked are just going to, you're going to get rooted out of this society. This is what the Most High is saying through Solomon. Read on. Read on. The imperfect branches shall be broken off. There is their fruit unprofitable, not right to eat. Yeah, meat for nothing. For children begotten of unlawful beds are witness of wickedness against their parents in their trial. But though the righteous be prevented with death, yet shall he be in rest. For honorable age is not that which standeth in length of time, nor that is measured by number of years. But wisdom is the gray hair unto men, and an unspotted life is old age. It see, it see, this is why the Levitical priest Job was saying that uh, uh, the age is not always wise. Neither do they understand judgment. See, it doesn't matter because you're a certain age. That doesn't give you wisdom because you're older. If you don't know Hamashiach, Yahawashai, the one which you guys call Christ, then you don't know anything. You don't know anything in this society. Read on. He pleased God and was beloved of him, so that living among sinners, he was translated. Yeah, speedily was he taken away, lest that wickedness should alter his understanding or deceit beguile his soul. For the bewitching of naughtiness doth obscure things that are honest, and the wandering of concupiscence doth undermine the simple mind. And this is this is why you you, you guys are, are in that reprobate mind now, because you want to worship up Cesare Borger, the one that Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo painted, the ones you have in all your Sunday churches, because that is not Christ. Christ was a so-called black man. That man you've been worshiping, you're going to pay the price for putting that graven image up and pushing that all over the world. Read. He being made perfect in a short time, fulfilled a long time, for his soul pleased the Lord. Therefore, hasted he to take him away from among the wicked. This the people saw up. This the people saw and understood it not. Neither laid they up this in their minds. He said, you should have took this to heart. Knowing that he said from the foundation of the world that there should be no other God before me. This is what he said through Moses on Mount Sinai and Horeb. But you guys wanted to remove the real image of Christ which his name was Ham Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, and put up Cesar Borger. This is what you guys chose to do, and now you're paying the price for doing all these things. The Most High God is not going to stop with those hurricanes. He's not going to stop with the earthquakes. He's not going to stop with the plagues, because these are prophecies that have already been written before the foundation of the world. Read. That is grace and mercy is with his saints and that he hath respect unto his chosen. Thus the righteous that is dead shall condemn the ungodly which are living, and youth that is soon perfected the many years and old age of the unrighteous. And this is, and this is the ones he chose from the foundation of the world, that is Israel. He, we're the ones he chose from the foundation. So it doesn't matter about your emotions, about how you feel, that covenant he made, with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and even all the way back to Adam. That's not going to change, because you guys didn't like the covenant he made. Read. For they shall see the end of the wise, and shall not understand what God in his counsel hath decreed of him. Because he's already, he wrote these decrees from the foundation of the world. He's the one that created the heavens and the earth. The Most High God did this. No man did this. This is why you guys are going to keep suffering. Those plagues are not going away. He says you're going to remain in them. The COVID is just the tip of the iceberg. That's not going to, he's not stopping with that. Read. And to what end the Lord has set him in safety, they shall see him and despise him, but God shall laugh them to scorn. But the Most High God is laughing all the wicked people to scorn right now. Right now, because he declares the end from the beginning, and his counsel is going to stand. Everything you guys are doing, the Lord is, he's up on the throne right now watching this. And he's, he's laughing at this. Read. And they shall hereafter be a vile carcass and a reproach among the dead. He said you guys are going to be defiled carcasses. Because this is, the, he said in Romans 6 and 23, 
for the wages of sin is death. So this is what the people that are in sin have to look forward to. It shouldn't be surprise, a surprise that all these people are dying. This is what Christ said from the foundation of the world. For the wages of sin is death. And you guys have chosen death rather than life. Read. Forevermore, for he shall rend them and cast them down as long, that they shall be speechless, and he shall shake them from the foundation, and they shall be utterly laid waste. He says all the wicked is going to be utterly laid waste. The Most High God said this. So nobody, no matter what you think, it's that death that he's pushing on the earth right now, it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. And, it, and then you think, you think you're at peace and safety, but Paul covered this in Thessalonians. He said, when they think peace and safety, then sudden destruction is coming upon them, and they shall not escape. You're not going to know where this is coming from. Read. And it be in sorrow, and a memorial shall perish. And when they cast up the accounts of their sins, they shall come with fear, and their own iniquity shall convince them to their faith. And all your, everything that you've done here in the body, he, this is going to judge you to your faith. This goes back to what he said through the prophet Jeremiah. Everybody's going to be judged according to their ways and according to the fruit of their own doing. Everything you're doing here in this society is what's going to be your judge. You got your own doings of how you're living here is how he's going to judge you here. Is that it? Okay, go to uh, uh, Romans 13.11. Romans 13.11. Romans 13, verse 11. Romans 13, 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. See, this was Apostle Paul. He said, knowing the time, it is high time for you to wake up out of sleep. Read. For now it's our salvation nearer than when we believe. Because our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. He's going to take care of his lost sheep that have been scattered throughout the diaspora, the Most High is going to, he's going to save us from afar, just like he said in the prophecy. Uh, uh, Isaiah 19, 1 through 4. 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 The burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rises upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at its presence. See, the Lord is coming up on the clouds. This is how Christ is coming. The same way he left in the chariot. That's what the, the clouds are, the chariot. He's coming in those chariots. See? And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And this place is going to melt because this place is going to be burned up with those ICBM missiles. This is why he's saying this place is going to melt. See? And I will set the Egyptians against Egypt, the Egyptians. Because this place is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. It says it in Revelation 11, verse 8. He said, this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was crucified. He wasn't actually crucified here. This is not the, the landmass of where he was crucified. But this is where you guys covered up his face. This is where you covered his face up with Cedra Borger and pushed that picture around the whole world. That dead man who was a pedophile and a murderer. The one Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo painted. Read. And they shall fight everyone against his brother. And this is why the, the, the Egyptians are going to, the Republicans are going to fight against the Democrats. This is why all you people are going to start fighting against each other. Just like this prophecy says. Because you guys love carnal things and love filthy lucre. All you love is money. That's what your God is. It's gold, oil, and drugs, and money. This is all you guys love in this society. Read. And every one against his neighbor. And this is why all you guys are going to fight one against each other, every one against his neighbor, because the Most High God is going to put the Spirit on you guys to do this. Read. City against city. And it's going to be city against city. Read. And kingdom against kingdom. And it's going to be kingdoms against kingdom, because you guys didn't want to... You didn't want to have the fear of the Lord. And, and what is the fear of the Lord? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, a good understanding of all they that do God's commandments. But you guys don't want to do God's commandments. You want to go out here on the Sabbath day and buy, sell, and trade. When he said to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy.
and the spirit of Egypt shall fall in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall speak to the idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits. And then you, you, you're going to go and, and, and worship your idol gods. This is what he's saying in this. He already knows about how you guys are into all this idolatry, but it's not going unpunished. The Most High is visiting the earth as we speak, and nobody is going unpunished for what they've done here in this body. Read. And to the wizards and the Egyptians will I give over into a hand of a cruel lord. And, then, and you guys are going to be given over to, to Hamashiach, Yahawashai. He's the one that's going to crush you. You're going to have to face the Creator. You're going to have to face the one that was the first, the one that came first. He said he's also the last. Read. And a fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. Saith the Lord of hosts. See, we're not saying anything. See, the Lord is doing all the saying here. Isaiah uh, 28, verse 21, or 26, verse 21. Isaiah 26, verse 21. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the 